Hi dear colleagues. This is Dr. Alaaddin Kanoğlu from Alanya Alaaddin Keykulak University, Faculty of Art, Design and Architecture. Before starting my speech, I would like to thank the organizing committee of the conference. In my speech, I'm going to talk about our studies on sustainability assessment problem. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015 provides a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet now and into the future. Today in our society, we can't achieve matching up requirements and identities of individuals since an ill-defined value system was imposed to the individuals of the society during the last decades. We can hardly see the keywords transparency, accountability, and legitimacy in the decision-making processes of public authorities. What the individuals, citizens, institutions, companies, and societies need in the world is the practical tools that makes the information for the governance of the societies available. The problem is the lack of these tools that allows the public authorities to support suitable identities for any levels of built environment by associated layers, such as historical, smart, green, slow, safe, healthy, resilient, etc. There are numerous studies and models dealing with the parts of the sustainability problem. However, a comprehensive model which defines the big picture and provides an integrated solution does not exist yet. Our experience on the subject helps us to suggest the hypothesis listed below that drive us to design our model. An integrated approach for the assessment of sustainability, three-dimensional Cartesian system for multi-dimensional frame model, a multi-layer assessment model of providing the sets of key performance indicators, such as low, smart, safe, green, historical, resilient, etc. A multi-level assessment model, including all levels on the three-dimensional Cartesian system. Assessment of the entities of the built environment based on both objective and subjective rules, principles, criteria, and value systems. An assessment model based on performance and certification. Similar is our response for the solution of above stated problem. Simur is the acronym of the title of our master project. It is the title of a Persian tale as well, which has corresponding versions in Turkish and Western cultures too. It means 30 birds that are in search of their leader named Simur. A virtual lab was established in a research gate platform to share the outputs of the master project and sub-projects of Simur. The diagram shows the sub-projects of Simul and the identities of graduate students who develop these projects in their master and PhD thesis. The diagram also shows the solar system simulation approach inspired from gravity phenomenon used in the assessment model that is based on virtual interactions of the entities at all levels. As for the keywords driving our studies, sustainability is the main concept among those that can be achieved by the integrated use of all key concepts given in the figure. For the well being and prosperity of society, it can be achieved only by matching the basic elements of life for not only human beings, but also all living creatures in the nature with their expectations and attributes balanced to some extent appropriately. Legitimacy is another main concept that provides us an informal control mechanism in decision-making process. It is related to the moral values, conscience, and wisdom of societies. Simon aims to increase the competitiveness of Turkish construction industry to increase the performance of built environment at all hierarchical levels, to 
to increase the level of transparency, accountability, and legitimacy of the decision-making processes on built environment by considering the mutual effects of the two-dimensional Cartesian system and the keywords in the figure. The objectives of the research will be fulfilled in two consecutive phases. In the first phase, paradigmatic frame organizational, integrational, and computational models are studied for developing the conceptual model. In the second phase, a practical model based on this conceptual model was developed. As for the paradigmatic model of Simorg, a philosophic approach that accepts and supports sustainable design and assessment approach instead of the initiatives which is driven by individual interests and passionate of entrepreneurs, such as making profit without considering common advantages of society is needed. Simon attempts to integrate the environmental dimensions of sustainability on three-dimensional Cartesian system. In addition to this multi-dimensional multi-level approach, Simon proposes layers for the assessment of sustainability such as slow, smart, green, historical, et cetera, in its frame model. As for the integrational model, Simon used relational database architecture for the practical, in other words, software model. This architecture allows integrating fragmented but related information, such as cadastre information of real estate, ownership information of built environment entities, occupation information of the citizens, certification information of built environment entities at all levels, information on social dimension related to finance, health, crime, education, et cetera, and information related to KPI sets for the assessment. Simor works together sub-modules developed for the performance-based and certification-based assessment of the entities at various environmental dimensions of Cartesian system stated above. Further details can be located in ResearchGate platform and national thesis database of Turkish higher education institution. Simon is designed to have a connection with the databases of related public authorities by using them as plugins. Simor uses the performance information of all entities to calculate total performance of selected level of built environment. The score contributed by all level entities to total performance of selected entity is calculated by the model. The outputs can be reported by the model in tabular or graphical reports such as radar diagram or the total performance of the entity selected. As for the conclusion, in order that performance-based approach can have the opportunity to be applied in a significant part of the industry as a valid and effective approach, studies which include all necessary dimensions for examining all aspects thereof at a sufficient level and transferring them into practice is required. To be able to reach sustainable development goals of United Nations, we need a holistic approach which integrates all the efforts and practical tools which allows performance-based assessment of the entities on the three-dimensional Cartesian system. Thank you.